connected. I have to, we have to figure out what the hell's going on with that. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we need to sit down and figure that out. And it's weird because it's like doesn't happen at all. I wonder. I haven't done the OBS updates. It shouldn't be that, but it may also be that. Shouldn't be OBS bringing your whole system down. Yeah. I mean, a driver conflict could potentially. But I think I, th I think you ran the SFC check. Yeah. So I think the next thing I'm going to have you do is the memory test. Since you're an inventor. Just for, a, just for a sanity check. Sanities? Because I'm sure you're... <laughs> I'm actually doubly sure that our memory is good because our memory showed up in that overclocking competition video that <laughs> I was watching earlier. Hello, time and weather. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> suddenly not out, oh, suddenly daytime. <laughs> time, how does it work? Time <laughs> is in my control. DMC, D D DMC. Yes, it is. <laughs> um, oh, do I have enough time? Speaking of time, hey, I'm gonna I'm gonna put it on heading hold, and I'm gonna stand up and take a really quick break. I need a drink before all this exploration shenanigans through the city. So I'll be right back. because it doesn't like turning the pita heat on but it does like yelling at you for not having it on it starts with autopilot engage at 8000 I'm okay with that it just says heading hold and not nav hold we'll do that cool awesome 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 That is the one advantage of flying with a friend, is that you can... Something happens, you can jump back in on the, on the other person. Like, in real life or in Flight Sim? Because in Flight Sim, like... That's the beauty of Flight Sim. <laughs> I do, like... I used to be one of those jingoists that like, I'm American, America is best. Why would I want to see anybody else? Who to hurt? And then I actually traveled. I was like, yeah. The rest of the world is awesome. And I want to see it. The only place I've been to outside of the United States is Amsterdam. And I've been there three times for work. that you were just showing uh i just looking down at the airfield down yonder the airbase down yonder way oh seeing a road or bridge or something oh that's the coast the beach <laughs> that's literally a beach and there's a, a peninsula <laughs> to this huge inlet oh. <laughs> oh wow yeah i feel i feel like that's a fake beach i feel like this is an island and they're like we can do a lot of beach way because we're Brazilian, and Brazilians like to Brazilian on the beach. Yeah, and maybe. I feel like that's a that's a man-made beach. I mean, it's gorgeous white sand, but, like, yeah. I just have a hunch that this section... Not all of it. I don't think the island down there is man-made. But I think some s sections of this beach is man-made. I want to go to Scotland and then drink all of it. Scotland is uh, is like is on my bucket list. 
and I literally want to like crawl through the entire countryside full of distilleries. Dear Lady Raptor, please enjoy Scotland's beautiful vistas and lovely sheep farms and wonderful grass and hills. I am on a liquid diet for the next four weeks. <laughs> Please find me conveniently curled up in some drainage ditch somewhere. If found, please shake awake, pour in more scotch, and send me on my merry way. <laughs> Holy crap. I just realized that, like... So, okay. Some... I tried to, like... I try to think about the sentences I'm going to say before I say them. So they have a chance to like go through all my brain filters. Sometimes what that means is that I have a thought and then I respond to the thought out loud, but I haven't actually said the thought. I just have said the response. Okay, so that's what just happened there. So my thought was, for quite a long time... I really wanted to get an incredibly expensive bottle of scotch for my 40th birthday. That was the thought I had. The response I had was based on the realization that that is next year. <laughs> Eon Rappold. Yeah. I like castles too. Castles are awesome. They're a great place for me to sit and watch my scotch as I drink it. <laughs> Snake, uh, no joke though. There, there was a time where uh, I had a buddy who's an EMT or paramedic, whichever one is, whichever one needs more training. He's the one that needed more training that like has the higher training level. Um, and we did a we did an annual camping trip, and uh, you know, in college we'd always get drunk. And so he started bringing IV bags for hangover cures. And on the first trip he did that, I ended up getting heat stroke. But I didn't realize it was heat stroke until basically as he was putting the IV bags in. Um, we go, we, this particular year, it was like 100 degree weather with 30 to 40 mile an hour winds. And it was, while we were in the lake, it was totally fine. Because, you know, we were just floating in the water. We were really chill. But I didn't realize how much it was to hide any me. And Lady and I like to do breakfast on Saturday, the Saturday mornings we go camping. So we were doing this big breakfast. And, like, I'm over the camp stove. cooking bacon and pancakes and stuff for everybody. And uh, near the end of it, I start to feel kind of faint. And I'm like, yo, buddy, you have those IV bags, right? And he goes, yeah. I'm like, yeah, can I, like... Maybe get a hit one before we go swimming again. And uh, and so as I sat down, he hung the bag up. I sat down under a tree, in a chair under a tree. He hung the bag up in the tree. As he was about to poke my arms, I just remember everything going white. And then all I could hear was like static. <laughs> and apparently he freaked out because he thought he killed me. And my wife was like, no, no, no. Just stab him. Just get the IV in him. And I took two full bags. And, uh, yeah, we were, like, 30 miles away from anywhere that could have gotten an ambulance. I probably would have died if he didn't have those IV bags. Because I legit full-on had heat stroke. So, yeah. No. I, I, mean, just, I, I just called for weather. Uh -huh. ILS uniform runway 28 in use. Okay. You'll, you'll have to remember that later. For when we Wait, why is it 2-8? Do they not have... Oh, that runway must not be in use. Okay. Oh, Dude. yeah, one of the runways is not in use. Yeah, because it's definitely pointed the way that I was expecting to land. But we got some touristy no, stuff not to do first. Not, yeah, no. Okay. So the first thing... I was just grabbing, I was just grabbing it so I could use the beacon for guidance back to the airport. Yeah. <laughs> instead of using a direct... So, uh, welcome everybody to Rio de Janeiro. It's probably just Rio de Janeiro. Um, <laughs> I will tell you, I did do a little bit of quick fly through earlier because I wanted to get a screenshot for stream. 
So I have seen like one or two things, but I have not seen a lot. I did also scope out a few things on um, Google Maps that I wanted to get. You say ILSU? Yeah. Let's see. Check. Got it. Um, so we're going to do some, some sightseeing here around Rio. And if there's anything you want to fly by or yell at and be like, yo, this, <laughs> uh, Also, we'll say first impression, nothing like the movie Rio. The movie Rio has this whole lake or the whole inlet here in like nestled in the bottom of a huge mountain cliffs. Like the, it, yes, it's an movie, movie, I know. But it has, the movie has huge mountains all the way around the ring to this, which is not true. Sink rate. I want to see, oh, the planes aren't here. Man. I don't know why I'm surprised. I know the game doesn't generate those. This uh, this airbase right here, or this airfield, has what looks to be like an airplane museum or something on this tarmac, and it's got a couple DC-3s and a C-143, C-147, the boxcar. It's got a couple cool things. Um, I know, I like I like that joke. Though. This is just Nightbot with some dad jokes. Ooh, ooh, hello, city's loading in. <laughs> <laughs> oh, airplanes, I'm getting near the international. That's what loaded in. So this here, ooh, all the way over. This here is this airfield. Can, can I have? So all this, so you've got like a couple DC-3s here, the boxcar. I think that's, I don't know what that one is. I love it. it. Like it almost seems like an, it's an instructor thing, because it's got like runway marking school in. Yeah, it could be. Or uh, or they clear those out and they do model airplane stuff or something. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. I'm surprised the AI didn't try to lay down runways there. <laughs> <laughs> Like, like the one that I showed you in Portugal? Yeah. <laughs> hey, Derpy, do you want to hear an animal joke? Oh, it did the markings there. Okay, here's an animal joke. Woof, woof. Wolf, wolf bark. You can take that one home for your dogs. It's moments like this, <laughs> I feel like I need a, a stream ending scene. <laughs> It's such a massive city. And yes, I am fully aware that Rio has a dark history with the favelas and a great wealth disparity. Disparity? Disparity. Wealth disparity. I wonder if... I'm about to try to answer this. Oh, oh. Speed. Speed. Rio Olympic Arena. Uh, not much has changed at that shipyard. Oh, wow. That's on the south. <laughs> I'm getting that little chug for a second too as planes are living. In. Yep. Yeah, I just loaded in the airport on this side of town. It's interesting, like, 
I don't know if this is a park that goes all the way through, if there's a little creek that goes all the way through, but there's like, there's a break in the houses here, like a straight line that goes through everything. This is the airport we're eventually going to be landing at, by the way. We just we want to do some fly arounds of the area. I kind of like this one by downtown. Yeah, I was looking at that one too. I couldn't. I think this is the current international airport, which is why I picked this one. But I got to be honest, it doesn't matter to me. This has these weird like tower things here around the edge of the tarmac uh they're probably lights oh yeah no that would totally make sense light towers yeah yeah maybe the big brain on defiant Um, west of the of Easteros? shipyard? Yeah. What the heck is that building that's on the uh, pier? I don't know. I'm heading the oh, I thought you still had the map open. Oh, uh, I guess I do. There's a museum. But it's it like, like a massive pier with some sort of building on it. It looks like it's a dry dock. <laughs> so that's just just west of the so here's the sh the um, yeah the, like you follow the bridge off yeah that's the that's the one that I'm talking about yeah yep. this looks like I, science museum it is futuristic oh. structure with an old old picture of it still being constructed. That's... Oh, wow. Google has an old image yeah. then. Because there's definitely a building there. And I have seen a few times where the Bing, data. Bing has more updated data. Papua New Guinea is another wow. one where Bing is more up-to-date. Which is scary to think that Bing is more accurate. <laughs> Excuse I kinda me. I kind of wish that they had built a custom building there then because it looks kind of interesting from what little I can this see. Right here? Yeah. It does look really cool. So this right here is a ship. Yeah, the carrier is still there. Also, mm -hmm. is this somebody's yeah, not, like house? I said, not much has changed. Well, is that part of the Navy? Uh, there was, oh, or on that island? I there. don't know. Yeah, this is... I know there was a hospital on the island with the um, shipyard. Because there's... The shipyard has a different ship in it. It looks like there's two destroyers. There's a couple destroyers in there. Yeah, there's a couple of, of ships in that, in that bay that time, yeah. Yeah. But that oh. carrier there. And is, yep, there goes my game. <laughs> <laughs> that's the second crash you've had. It uses a game crash, right? I yeah, that's a game crash. That's either my system or weather. Last time I had crash issues like that, it was weather related. There's something wrong with the weather engine. No. Yeah. I'm getting stutters, but I think that's just stuff. That's the planes in. loading. You're bouncing between those two airports, and they keep unloading and reloading. Yeah. I was getting that too. Which was supposed to. I'm gonna set to clear weather, just so that we don't have issues. Uh, Kleinster Rio has to be similar to what we're seeing because it's using photogrammetry and real wor real world data. Obviously, the buildings aren't gonna match because they're a really really rough approximation. But we are using photogrammetry, so it has to be very <laughs> done close. Before snake. I mean, Rio appears to be a pretty big city. That's quite the cathedral. Mm -hmm. And there's like a there's like a statue tower thing behind it too. With yeah. a, I, think a, I think there was a cross on top. Yeah. I 
Okay. I guess I should just check this. Hmm. I'm gonna show everybody. <laughs> I'm gonna show everybody the thing that disappointed me before stream. Because I did try to get a screenshot. You know, it may be fixed when I uploaded the content patch. What do you want to bet it's fixed? Because I hadn't done uh, that. I didn't realize there was that content patch that I needed to update as well. It this does kind of look like a micro update, though, wasn't it? Nah, I could see them sneaking in the elevation stuff. Hmm, yeah, because I can see it now. So earlier, before stream, I tried to take a picture of me flying inverted near the statue and have that as the picture with my, my go live tweet. But the mountain was halfway up the statue's chest. And it looks like it's maybe fixed now. I don't know. It had to have been the content update that I pushed through. Yeah, because it actually looks fine now. Hmm. Maybe they snuck something in there after the uh, I initial I bet update. it was, because they did have the thing about the elevation fix, and since that's a point of interest, those are hand done, I bet they like did the point of interest, or did the elevation fix, and then checked the point of interest. I mean, because this... Th Christ the Redeemer is on their initial release promo videos. Ready for a group invite when you uh, when you got it. Okay. Two seconds here. I'm uh, doing one, 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 a little five. dangerous -y thing. <laughs> yeah, no kidding, 500. <laughs> um, still showing them in a group. Are you in a oh. group? Yeah, hang on. Oh! Hang on, did I rejoin automatically? It's wait, wait, wait. still showing that you're in mine. I see you! It rejoined me automatically. Sure. Oh, oh why not? Why, why wouldn't it? Apparently I wasn't gone long enough for it to kick me. <laughs> Oh, over here somewhere um, is down here somewhere. Over the so I rejoined the group, but I don't think I got a time and weather update. Sure, why not? Found another bug. Yeah, okay, this way. I wonder what this track is. Is that like horse racing or something or other? I mean, it obviously might be cars. It's something or other. It looks like it's dirt. I guess it could still be cars. Cars drive it's on dirt too, Eon. Yeah, doof. <laughs> Yes, play. I know I'm going speedy. Jockey Club. Alright. Klein, do you live in Rio? Or you just know about it? I'm just curious. You visit. Okay, very cool. I have virtually flown through part of it tonight, right here. This is it, my experience with 3 oh, That and a try. song about a place, something something Copacabana. <laughs> Split the difference! <laughs> yes, yes nice lady, it is 500. <laughs> So it's over here? Over here. Over here? Over here. Over yonder? This way? This way. This way. That way? Yeah. 
Hey, what's that achievement for flying around a uh, oh, a landmark? Yeah, I I don't remember. Is it half half mile? I thought it was like five feet. Oh, 500 feet? Oh I don't. I How don't, do you even tell 500 feet? I don't remember. I know, it was super close. Hey, right, am I in the wrong spot? I feel like this is... Oh, that's there. Uh, oh, over here, okay. Did they demolish that? Nope, it's totally there. Um, this, this right here, on this little, like, triangle thing, this is the Olympic Village. Mm. Or at least, like, the arena. Oh, I can't do it when we're in multiplayer. Really? Lame my, song. my, my camera is, it's locked on you. Oh, weird. Even if you get close it's to the It's not POI? locking it. I'm within a mile. Yeah, I'm gonna get it within a half a mile. There you go. There right here was the Olympic Stadium and stuff. My understanding is, like many other Olympic villages, this is all empty now and not being used because it was designed for a single event and nope. not practical use for <laughs> a city afterwards, even though that's what they sell it on. Because the Olympics are kind of a scam and make all the countries poor that host the Olympics. Stuff and things in Durant. Which is like, I, I sometimes have to be Is that a road? Yes, I know. That is a road. It does, or it's pathways. It's not practical to drive on. Why would you do that for roadways? Uh. Stop yelling at me, plane. Thank you. She listened. It's a bad idea, but I need to set it up. EFT settings bearing one. Okay, there we go. <laughs> what are you doing? I wanted I wanted DME. Oh. I'm not in my modded I'm I don't have my modded avionics, <laughs> so I, it's not saving my settings. It's it's a little weird to me because like I work for a company that directly benefits by the hype around the Olympic Games, but at the same time I'm like we could maybe spend that money better in other places. Because <laughs> that's a lot of money in infrastructure that is being demanded of countries that most of the countries that end up hosting the Olympics don't necessarily actually have to spend on that kind of one-time use event. And frankly, the Olympic Games has never really actually made money back for the hosting cities. It's almost always a loss. And the only cities that walked away not in the red are the ones that were able to use existing facilities and infrastructures, but the IOC doesn't tend to grant the Olympics games to those cities anymore. Yada, 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 yada. The camera, I lied, that camera's not locking on you, it's locking on that airport you were near. I don't know why, though. Huh. You ask a great question, QB. Uh, I mean, frankly, the Olympic... So, <laughs> the Olympic Games are kind of like the old, the World's Fair of old. It's more about um, getting people to travel to certain places and not necessarily about the games themselves, while that is the stated reason. I don't need my autopilot on. So you may notice that, like, cities and countries that are trying to get clout on the global stage tend to be the ones that are throwing lots of money into trying to host the Olympic Games. 
Or um, World Cup is another one. Like, why the hell would you have the World Cup in Qatar in summer? It's like 100 in death dis- temperature there. Nobody wants to play soccer in 100 in death temperature. Can confirm. Um, oh, yeah. I just got into low distance of the statue and it popped up on top of the mountain. Oh, so maybe you had a load issue earlier. Yeah. I do think it was part of the content patch I hadn't loaded. Ooh, that is close. Uh, Discord. Discard a... Uh, 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 go post images. Yeah, I'm just going to post them to you so I have them for later. Aha, uh-huh. you get my images. Nope, I apparently didn't limit it to one screen either. So you get both images. I'm actually glad I didn't post that. <laughs> you get to see my other screen. Don't worry, it's a mishmash of tiled tiles. Tiled tiles. Gotta love them tiled tiles. I thought I had all the rest down. Apparently, I did not. All right, one more flyby, and then we'll look at. I want to look at that gun emplacement on the other side. The oh, where was that at? It was basically on the other side of the opening to the the bay. It was like right okay, on. Okay, I'm the gonna go over to the. Br- yeah. I'm going to go over to the bridge and follow it over then. Oh, that's true. There's a bridge. It looks pretty low to the water. <laughs> <laughs> it almost looked like it was underwater. Hey, they tried to do the same glass on the church. That's cool. Yeah. It's, I can't see it until you're like 10 feet away, but... <laughs> I, I do give them credit that on many of the point of interest, they've clearly like put some effort into... Hold, please. Five hundred. <laughs> there you go. That's a good picture. Is that your stream dropping, or is my? Am I getting a weird buffering? Uh, yeah, I'm get, I must be getting a weird buffering. I've dropped 142 frames. Ah, eh, that wasn't a close call. <laughs> None of that was close call. <laughs> You should have been here when I was uh, dam diving earlier. <laughs> Trying to get the height on the dams. You shish plane. I've, I've got enough hours in this bird now that I, uh, yeah. Oh. I don't necessarily they, worry about close calls anymore. <laughs> the bridge isn't touching the water. That has to be. Is there a- It's not touching. Is there an elevated section or is there a drawbridge section? Hmm? I can't. Not that I saw. No. I have a hard time believing. It's all that level. That doesn't. There has to be a way for large ships to get through. Because I, um, I have a hard time believing that they would block off this entire bay. I saw container ships by the shipyard. Oh no! It has to. There's another shipyard over here. So how are they getting... With, na- with a Navy ship by it. Yeah. The, it's, the bridge probably isn't modeled correctly. Yeah, and here's tankers. Yeah. Here's some tankers over here. So it has to. So there's either a drawbridge section or an elevated section or something. Yeah. Like, it could be like the one across the Columbia where it rises up in the middle or... Yeah. It's just not modeled. Yeah. Survey says... And it looks like it's a toll bridge, at least one way. Oh yeah, it looks toll like the bridge with a toll bridge with the kraken coming out of it. Holy smokes! Yeah, okay, it totally elevates the middle. Here, look. What even? You have to choose the correct lane coming out of the toll. 
Oh my gosh. Yeah, I, that bridge is higher off the water. Mm, than I think yeah. What's it on? It's like Coronado. Yeah. It's like Coronado, but over a longer distance. This is too steep. You're an idiot, Eon, for trying this. Yeah, because this is really close to the water here. Mm hmm. I think that's closer than the bridge in the Florida Keys, even. I don't think you're going to fit over that. Not with an attitude like that, I'm not. <laughs> And those A320s loading in, it's really a big hit. Is it the same? It is 100% the same elevation all the way across. Thanks, game. Thanks for making this harder for me. <laughs> yeah, I don't know that I can... This is so close to the water. That can't be it. That's got to be something else. Where's this gun emplacement at? I got climb, the, I got and I can see it. By a bridge. Uh, I think that is it right there. I don't think it modeled correctly. I think it's right at the tip of that. Just oh, is it really? Because it's not circular shaped like that I one see was. See that little like white thing down? Yeah, no, I flew over that spot. I'm just looking to see if there's another. Yeah, that must be it. Yeah. Huh. It's got it. Not... Oh wait, wait. Oh, I heard the scrape. I heard the tail scrape. <laughs> <laughs> I got your gun emplacement. Okay. Yep, I heard the tail scrape on the bottom side of that bridge. I fit. I made it. I really wish I could do that externally because that would be awesome. Oops. <laughs> oh my god! Squeak! Yeah, <laughs> it fits. Great. Right. So that's a highlight. I should. I should watch my elevation because I'm sitting here skimming the water at 30 feet. By the way, bridge flying is against our around the world trip rules. Eh. Just so everyone knows. <laughs> <laughs> what happens in Brazil stays in Brazil. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Yeah, we uh, we were taking this around the world thing like being super realistic and then we got to like kind of realistic and now we're like Let's see stuff and be tourists. Also, you're calling me out for bridge flying, but let's not forget that you were <laughs> weaving between skyscrapers. I think that's the lowest bridge I've gone smoothly under like that. I will say, yeah, that's, that's I will your say that took like four or five passes before I did like a valid attempt at it. Is it this like, is it this thing that's underwater here? No, keep going. Next one over. Oh, okay. I'm oh, circling that it. one. Got it. Okay. Yeah, this right here. Yep. You see that? You actually see the turret like right down there. Ooh, the contact sh shadow system was not happy with the underside of my wing <laughs> over the water there. <laughs> it got all sorts of grainy.
Yeah, this doesn't have any depth to it. No. Nope. And it's not flat either from what I can tell up here. I didn't drop down on it. It's flat, flat. It's like a picture on the ground flat. I mean the terrain. Yeah. Five hundred. DMC is struck. <laughs> this city just like keeps going and going. It's the Energizer City. <laughs> Except it drains the life out of everything. I don't know. Here that Rio is like really like a lot of energy to it. Excuse me, I have hiccups. Then again, have not lived there personally, cannot speak too personally. You know what there isn't? There's... I'm not seeing marinas. Ah! Is he crashing it? Wow. Mm -hmm. Hmm. Mm-hmm. That's game crash, right? Did you mm -hmm. do you still have anything in your community folder? Uh, just uh, scenery and liveries. Which scenery? Oh, like just the folder. No, the um, Portugal. Okay. I think I still have the Portland bridges. What time did that hit? No, that was twenty minutes ago. There's no system hit. It's. I should have restarted my system before playing. I think it's the A320s loading and unloading, hitting my system hard oh. for some reason. And it's tripping something. I, mean, I guess it could be. Oh, not audit. Application. Here, what is this one? Coherent UI dot DLL. You yep. a coherent UI dot Damn, that's when I should actually grab this event log and report it. That one, that one through the actual. It usually doesn't happen because it threw the actual uh, module causing it. I don't think I have anything else. <laughs> Derp, I do kind of wish that the, uh, the dad joke API would take suggestions. But then again, I also know what the internet is and how some of those suggestions would be like, ha ha, ha ha ha, what do you do with a penis? You penis it with the penis. Because <laughs> internet. Wow. <laughs> that was a sentence and a half. Yeah, it's P it's, I'm going to actually get rid of PDX. Let's get rid of that one. So I have the PDX one. Do you, you don't you don't have the A320 mod still installed, right? Nope. I remove those. I remove all of the aircraft related mods uh, except for liveries between updates until they until I get an indication that they're good. Correction Derby. Mini air Okay, so let's do Summer let's crash. do this. Let's just disable my entire community folder. I do have a co like I haven't moved any of the mods out, um, but I often <laughs> there's an airport over here called Marica. M A R I C A. Marica. 
Oh, 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 you left the game. Honestly, honestly, this crash that we're seeing right now, there's a good chance that it's my system. Like I said, I was playing Kerbal Space Program all day, yeah. and it has memory issues. So there's a good chance yeah, that my I memory know. is like stupidly heavy fragmentation right now. And and Flight Sim's probably having a getting a block. Also, like we're about to land pretty soon, so I'm not sure how much you want to worry about it. But it would be nice to like. Yeah, I'm gonna reload. I'm okay. gonna load back in and do the landing at least. I forgot that. That reminds me, I forgot to load my uh, my app that marks the landings and takeoffs. Oh well. I just disabled the entire community folder, so we'll see if that actually helps with the uh, A320s chunking in. Got it. Things for the follow. Who did it? Simply resistible. I want to make a comment about being simply irresistible, <laughs> but you know what you did. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. I was going to say, that's not how the song goes. Is it dedicated? Do I get a connect now? I do get a connect now. Am I picking up the ILS? Ah, I am. I also love that I'm sitting here at altitude. All right, like, I have no altitude in dude. There we go. I'm literally uh, just, like, invite? perusing around the city at this point. What the heck Ooh. was that? What did you do? I think I know what's causing the crash. Is it Kerbal? Nope. Freaking Windows. Oh, yeah. That just popped it. up an Xbox. That just popped up an Xbox Game Bar freaking uh, achievement or something. I got the <laughs> Xbox Bedink noise in my ear when that popped up. Oh. That wasn't popping up before. Ah. That's what the coherent crap is, I bet. Because there was an update to that today. <laughs> uh, hey, simply thanks I for saw the an follow. Update to that. I'm glad you, glad you hung around for quite a while and looked. And uh, you have a good night. And Snake, if you're heading out to, you take care. Good night, everybody leaving. Good, uh, I, I'm good for a group invite, by the way. Okay. And uh, Snake, again, thanks for the huge support tonight. Uh, sent. Thank you. Oh, that's why my camera was aiming at that airport. No, wait. That's the one that we had nope. selected. No, wait. That was the one. It wasn't the airport. Right yeah, I think it was pointing. I think it was pointing at your destination that you have set. Uh, no. Or had set. Also no. Okay, because I definitely got a different destination. Yeah. Huh, whatever. <laughs> well, thank you, Snake. I I do appreciate it. Um, the one thing about here is I do have one of those weird day job things that pays the bills. So all the support here goes back into the stream. Um, I've thought about like getting, maybe commissioning somebody to do some new channel art or do new overlay. I don't know, something, 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 something. I think I need to do that one next after I replace this busted controller, this art. Since I have people who, for some reason, continue to resubscribe. I know it's weird, right? I do like the plane. I like how the plane. So weird. Out. Now that I now that I rotated the plane a bit more, I like how it turned out. So I may switch out the bus for a little bit since it's been a day or two since we played my summer car, and switch that out to something a little bit more relevant. But I like how the plane is now. I love the heart. I will never change out the heart. The hay. I'm actually it's a tier two, so I am the only one that uses it. Actually, Snake has it now too. Because I switched that to tier 2 to give us the fine. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because, okay. Because here's all. So there's the tier 1, 2, and 3 in that order. So tier 1, 2 is hay, 3 is the golden heart. So I have 3 in the tier 1 love. Yeah. 
Oh, this plane looks weird when it doesn't have the purple on it. We are actually seven points away from unlocking another emote slot. I, <laughs> I was like, as I was saying, I was like, wait a minute. Can I have my dashboard back, please? Can, can I please? Could I please have my video with the dreams? Hey, Mr. Failures. Stuff that I was watching. No. Oh. oh. Uh, not a CJ4. A Cessna Longitude. <laughs> for, the, for the for the small small price of twenty eight million dollars. We have a supportive community. I mean, you guys are crazy. Is really what I'm saying. <laughs> How you doing, failures? Um, your call. I'm literally just just started circling. Uh, do you want to go for it? You're ahead of me. Landing? I thought you were headed. Wait, where are we headed into? Uh. uh we're going to the international, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yeah, you I'm said you were circling. I'm like, what are you circling? I, I'm around <laughs> the beginning of the um, approach. Oh, okay. Yeah, I've, I'm have i basically locked onto the localizer right now. Yeah, but I'm not following the localizer in. I'm going to be. I'm gonna do visual, as usual. What's your approach speed again? Like 120 something. 120? Just, just follow me in. I'll, I'll keep my speed up. Okay. I'll just keep it at flaps one and, and come in hot. Coming in hot. Did, uh, did you get approval to buzz the tower? Negative. Pattern was full. Can I ask critical speed? Vertical speed on. Thank you. Why are you diving when I have a positive vertical speed? <laughs> Airplane? Uh, you're. Uh, oh, wait. That's just. T what? Oh, What's happening there? I got it. Pilot air. We're good. Also, I never refueled after the crash. Oh, uh, yeah. Fuel. It's okay. I bet, like. <laughs> <laughs> I'm lower than I expected to be, but well within the amount needed to land at this airport. <laughs> okay, seriously, why am I getting roll going on here? Actually, you know what? To fix that, here, let's do this. Let's do altitude hold. Let's do nav hold. Engage AP. That should cause the aircraft to trim. What did you just do? Why are you climbing to 4,700? No, I don't want 47. <laughs> no, I <laughs> want like 32. Failures. Defiant is apparently having some issues. I am not issueless myself. Well, I hit the altitude hold and it apparently didn't hold at my current altitude. I decided to go higher. Okay, are you good? Are you trimmed up now so I don't have to fight whatever weird aileron roller you were giving me? That's better. Now, I said I was going to keep the speed, so let's speed back up, please. So far out, I can't see the dang runway. Or did my graphic settings not actually save because crashed after I did the reset? <laughs> I'd have to do the reset again. 
you don't need a runway. Well, it's not as bad as on low, but I don't think I don't think my graphics settings are. And I'm still getting that weird roll to the left. What? <laughs> Is it? Here, have some trim. Check, check your fuel tankage. I just loaded in after a crash. It should be fine. Uh huh. Yeah, it's fine. Plus, <laughs> plus they fix. Plus they quote unquote fixed that by defaulting it to auto. They uh, they did something in. I saw a note on the about the um, holy shit words Eon find them. Um, I saw a note about the Cirrus 22 where they, something about they disabled the, uh, multi, or dual tank or something. I don't know. They mm, messed, they messed weird. with the fuel switch somehow. Yeah, on this one they touched it and they didn't tell anybody. They, they defaulted it to auto. So that way when you loaded in on other players, it was automatically set to automatic. Yay. Even though I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be and yet, and yet, it doesn't turn on the yaw damper on the autopilot when they load you in. Hey, this one, when it loads you in, it doesn't turn on the pitot heat, but it yells at you for not having it on. <laughs> yeah, it, so this one doesn't turn on the yaw damper, doesn't yell at you, though. Even though, it's, even though that's a yelling item when you don't have it on with autopilot engaged. Oh yeah, I should do that whole gear thing. That's usually a good <laughs> thing to have the, too. That's right? the three greens thing on your checklist. Slowest landing gear ever, three green. I'm sitting here at like oh. 93 knots. I think this is like right <laughs> at the uh, the slowest airborne speed I can keep it. No, I mean, you, could, you can pick it up if you want. I'm doing 130. Yeah. What is the stall speed on this? God damn it! They remapped the keys on that. I need to figure out what that is. By all means, don't have the stall speed on the placard airplane. Why would anybody need to know that as a quick reference airplane? Because the plane is supposed to yell at you when you hit it? I would I would much prefer to know where it is before <laughs> I hit it than... This is totally an island completely full of like houses and stuff. And there's clearly a couple ferries that you use to get on and off the island. Right there. I'm like, I don't know what happened here. I don't know if these are boats or if those are little, like, houses with islands on them or something. I don't need gear, right? I mean, it's handy. That's that whole three green thing on your checklist. Um, I thought it just checked to see if I saw three lenses on my. That's before start. Oh, <laughs> one of the updates <laughs> I did see, totally unrelated. One of the patch notes I did see is they got rid of the phantom spoilers on the 208. Oh, I saw that. I saw, I saw that, too. Not the first time I've done a belly landing. I did a belly landing in a uh, longitude because the screeching sound, or the metal against asphalt sound is really good. I don't know if I have this as a clip or as a command. It's a clip. I don't know if I have it as a command. And actually, the, like, the metal grindy sound was actually really good. Yes, if I'm gonna taxi, I should have feet on pedals. I 
I can't believe I made it under that bridge in third person. Can you go back and find that real quick? Landing long, and I'm going to go for the uh, second turn off. Okay. I'm still five out from the DME. Ooh, that was smooth. Ooh, that was smooth. Actually, you know what? I'm close enough to actually hit the first one. Dude, what is going on with my textures? No textures for you. Oh, fluffy doggy just stuck her face in my hand. <laughs> I love how the eyeless is bringing me just off to the right a hair. Let's go ahead and land on the runway, please. All right, how about that general aviation park? Where's that at? <laughs> Different airport. <laughs> Your parking is in another airport. Taxi, airport information. Zoomy zooms. Take the general nearest. aviation. Safe return. Uh, yeah. Oh, dude, is there an actual marked hangar over there at GA parking? Maybe. Maybe. Uh, you're gonna hit the second turn off. Hang a left on the taxiway. Okay. Yeah, I've yet to apply brakes, so just letting it see if it would roll. Yeah, down. I saw you go past the. I saw you go past the uh, entrance to this one. Yeah. Or actually, oh, I see how they've got this going. You have to go to the second parallel taxiway and hang the left. Where are we going? Uh, we're going. I got the airport chart. It's going to be November. Yeah, November. I feel like I uh, Lima seven. It. Oh gosh. So the first one's an active. Active. The second one should be the taxiway, right? Yeah. If you just follow the line and then you just hang a turn to go. Uh, You'll see where it'll it'll send you straight, and then you're gonna hang a left, and then another left, instead of making that sharp turn. Because this is an international, so they don't have you doing sharp turns. Or for that one, it might be straight across. I don't know. Well, there's a line of trees straight across, so. That's what I'm more concerned with. Yeah, keep going and hang on left. I see where you're at. Okay. You'll be on the same taxiway I'm on. Oh, I'm sorry. I said November. It's uh, Mike, Lima 7. I'm going to be honest. I don't, I, don't, I don't have the airport chart up. <laughs> It, yeah, and the taxiways aren't exactly marked either. Yeah. <laughs> kind of makes it hard to uh, give directions when they're not marked. Welcome to Rio. It's so weird hey. to think there's a big ass city all the way over there. <laughs> we we're like right in the middle of it. It's like completely surrounded. This is so much land here. What do you feel does it feel that this was landfill? Land reclamation. Maybe.
Yeah, definitely light towers here. Um, there is. Wow, they actually modeled that. Kind Whoa, of. Whoa, was that an underground freeway? I mean, it doesn't actually underground go underground, entrance? Yeah, yeah. but it was, it's like ground service roadway nice. for, yeah. Actually, it looks halfway decent. I mean, you know, that building is flying a little bit, and that road hits the, mount the hillside, but still, like, way better than I thought. Oh, uh, and there's a lip here. Hi there, Class Bravo. Awesome. Um, Shh. Be careful, the edge of this here, like it actually raises. <laughs> it's not flat. <laughs> yeah, I didn't I didn't go past that because that must be uh, between the two uh, turnoffs. Because uh -huh. I managed to hit the first one. And that fence down Dude, there. Dude, this is a marked, this is a marked hanger. That fence marked down there hanger. a little bit of work. <laughs> We're doing good class, Bravo. How are you doing today? Just, uh, we just landed in Rio from, oh, I don't know where we took off of. But, I don't uh, <laughs> We're actually Wait, where heading are you Norwich. going? I'm the first turnoff. It's totally commercial You're, parking. Yeah, you didn't follow me. Said, I said two lefts. Uh, you, you, you missed the second left. left. No, I missed the first left because I went right. Uh-huh. Whatever. I'll be at 747 today. Fine, I'll taxi all the way down to commercial. You don't have to. You you can be a GA. It's fine. I just got these big light yeah, towers. Yeah, we always we always stop next to each other. I see you over there. I'll, I'll see if I can get over there. Stay there. Don't. Okay. Okay. I just, I'm just gonna I'm gonna hang out at the entrance to the ramp area over here because. Um, Kind of, kind of a couple of taxiways here that don't lead to it. Been thinking about flat. So we're currently doing a round the world trip in segments. Um, and actually, if you do exclamation mark RTW, it'll have the flight plans for each of the segments we've been doing. Um, we're now just starting to head up the north up the east coast of South America. And we were talking about once we get over Europe, maybe doing VATSIM over there. Good night, Derpy. Thanks for hanging out. Have a good night, Derpy. I'm way exceeding taxi speed. I think this is cut over. This is not cut over. I see you over there. You need to go basically back out to the runway. There's only one way in and out of this place. Is there really? Well, that's no fun. Mm -hmm. You are correct. Well, shoot sticks. Okay. Yeah, see the bigger ramp section yeah. there? That's where I'm parked in front of. Oh, 10 a.m. Right, right, right. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, good Mondea. Happy time, time zone. zone. Asta Nuego. Yes, I know I'd say so top of the morning to you, but I don't have the accent. Top of the morning? I don't either. Also, also, that one's already taken. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, God. How crazy would it be if I just made that joke and he donated $1,000? <laughs> I'm sorry. What? You haven't seen what he's been doing? Who's he's he? been going around to random small streamers and dumping like $500 or $1,000 on them. Who's he? Jack Septic guy. Oh, cool. I said top of the morning to you. Yeah, that, that doesn't mean I understood the reference. Oh, it didn't click? Okay. Yeah. Did you see that uh, Gabe followed through and donated $200,000 to the Children's Hospital? Mm-mm. Didn't see that yet. Mm -hmm. Also wasn't exactly following it that closely. I still think it was hilarious that they added the stream steam achievements <laughs> speaking of achievements okay good it didn't map that button to something silly in windows yeah i need to go back and check my mappings because they did 
the update did apparently switch some of my view mappings. Well, now I'm wondering if that's what's causing your crashes when playing Flight Sim. Is some weird achievement thing in Windows that's not working properly. Because that's the first time I've ever seen that. And I know I saw an update. It said, it said game something service is updated. Check out what's new. And I didn't click on it because I don't care. When you click on check it out, there's nothing there. There's no information. So I wonder if that's what's doing it. Maybe you need a service reinstalled. <clears throat> so, Mr. Failures, I've said it before and I'll say it again. The bottle to throttle countdown doesn't start if you still have a bottle in your hand. Hey, now you're going on the... Oh, was that a roundabout? A taxiway <laughs> roundabout? Nice. Like a roundabout? Nice. I don't know what these turnoffs are here, though. Like, I saw these on the overhead, too. It, like, doesn't arc. But it doesn't go anywhere. Like... Uh, is that on the chart? That's it, not on the chart. It's on the actual, like, Google Maps. Yeah, it's, it's not on the chart, so... Uh, actually, you know what that is? I know what that is. They don't connect, right? They they just shoot off. They just like stop right here. Yeah, their engine run up areas. Um, okay. I can almost guarantee those are those are engine run up areas. I'm glad CIA hang out. It's been a while since I've got to talk with that fool. Because uh, this hangar down here is definitely uh, a major maintenance depot mm. for planes of all sizes. <laughs> and so that's, those are likely where they do engine tests. And Mr. Failure, is to actually address your question, I'm using my foot pedals right now, which I am definitely not comfortable on. Um, I actually don't use them most of the time. Um, I bought them thinking I would use them a lot more. But my legs are a little bit too long, so when I have my feet on the pedals, it actually hurts my knees because my knees are hitting the desk. <clears throat> and it makes the controls kind of jerky. So I'm trying to get used to them. Old tax face and old runway? Hmm. Okay. I mean, I, I'd still use them as, if I was the maintenance chief, I'd still use them as a run up area. <laughs> Overlay. Do your thing. Seriously, did the alerts crash too? Your alerts <laughs> crash. Oh no. What is what is the alert for that one? Crap. What is the alert for that one? Twenty. I don't remember what your twenty is. It's it's not a special one, but it's a sound. I can't remember what my my bits alert was. Chat. It's all falling apart. Everything. Just park over here uh, somewhere between you. the lights. Seriously. Steam elements must have crashed or something. Maybe. Thanks for the cheers and the 20 bits. Beats. I don't know why it didn't do the like yelly thing because it's supposed to be like. <laughs> I actually don't remember what it does. It's definitely a Velociraptor thing. Does it? Is that the one that squeak? squeak I should know my own words. Ah. It's definitely a noise. There is for maintenance. If you need to do long engine runs or high power runs, there definitely is. And I'm not thinking for a small aircraft either. I'm thinking for uh, airliners. Wait, yeah, for is this a hand done airport? 
Right. And like I said, for maintenance. Careful. Is this a Hinton Airport? I don't know. I've never seen these. Yeah, this is the first time we've ways. seen a. Um, like this. The and a marked hangar like this? Yeah. I yeah, I don't know. I think it is. <laughs> I, I really want to, like, grab the blue mobile now and drive around <laughs> in the <laughs> stairs. There's always money in the banana sand. Oh, those don't need to be on. <laughs> Power! Hey, remember when they said they fixed that whole uh, logbook nope. thing? Or was that another adjustment? Uh, they probably just adjusted it. <laughs> Don't hit the light pole. I'm not going to hit the light pole. I'm going to park right here next to it so I can get a nice tan in the morning. <laughs> Yeah, I did see that class, bra class Bravo, the, the CBA, um, TVD on that. Part of it is like real talk. Me and phonetic alphabet don't get along so well because I learned the wrong one forever ago. Let's look back to that. Um, but yeah, and stuff. Oh, that's what the two... I, I thought you were dropping images on our DM. <laughs> I was like, why does Discord say there's two? Because there's two. There should not be a two. Why are people DMing me? Because I was dropping dis di I was yep. dropping Discords on the DM. Yep, I got you. Engine off, engine off. No, Twitch there. Prime. I don't need some silly mobile whatever you're trying to sell me. Um, um, okay. Hey, uh, we're at the end of this leg. We made it. Yay. We made it to Rio. We did. We went northward. We've been going southward Finally. so long. <laughs> it's, it's good to go northward. Finally. I love how you say northward as opposed to northbound. <laughs> northward down. bound. No, wait, that's eastbound down. Yeah, it's eastbound <laughs> down because we're loaded up and trucking. You know who's tracking this? Why didn't I use that in a tweet when we were headed east? I'm so dumb. Why didn't I do that? We didn't really head. Oh. Uh, I when we're when we're heading east over to like Greenland, definitely eastbound and down. Loaded up. Oh, that's tracking. a good idea. That's a good time to use it. Yeah. That's a good time to use it. Um, thank you so much, everybody, for hanging out. Um, I will be back. I, I I'm defined a zombie. I will be back tomorrow night, 9 p.m. Pacific, with Assassin's Creed Valhalla. And we will both be back Friday night Honk. with Honk. Honk. We're doing uh, something different. Yeah. So slight change up to our normal schedule. We've been doing flight sim stuff Monday or sorry, Wednesday, Friday, Saturday. Um, this Friday we figure it's time for the birds to get payback. And I haven't <laughs> played Untitled Goose Game yet. And you've watched a little bit of it and they have co op now. So Honk. Honk. Um, the other thing, I will just put a bug in your ear. I don't know if you saw this about On Air, but On Air has moved their maintenance day from Wednesday evening our time to Monday evening our time. Oh! Yes. So that'll start next week, I think. So just a heads up that, like, that does bring Wednesdays back on the table for if you want to do On Air stuff on Wednesdays, or at least some Wednesdays. Maybe. I mean, we were talking about dropping On Air. Yeah. To open the day up for um, other stuff. Yeah, we have just, other stuff coming up too. Yeah, putting that so. in your ear that that's yeah, yeah, yeah. that's good to know. That's yeah. good to keep track of. So, um, I have fair assault is about the only one because yep, that's who I saw too. Fair assault it is. Hey, we're gonna go raid a very very good human being. His name is Fair Assault. Please come join us in the raid. I think and you will enjoy him quite a bit. He is doing war thunder. War thunder. If you have not done so already, make sure you go give Defiant a follow as well. It's the other voice you hear, the one that's knowledgeable about stuff, that doesn't fumble over words and things and phrases. 